All right, I'm recording now. All right. <clears throat> All right, Turmo, we're going to Cracker Bar Barrel for the episode. We can't. Saber's banned from there. <sighs> It'll be fine. They're gonna recognize you, Saber. Listen, I had to. I did what I had to do. All right, you don't understand. You killed the main man in John Gotti's game. Yeah. It was to preserve a better tomorrow. Billy, a gangster from New York at Cracker Barrel, isn't gonna make a better tomorrow. You don't understand, all right? I no, had to you do it. Listen. I had Look to do here. it to him. Look here. Look, listen. You think Wings of Redemption is banned from Cracker Barrel? <laughs> you think Wings of Redemption is banned from everything? You think he's banned from the Golden Corral? <laughs> think he's banned from Taco John's? Aren't you uh, banned from Taco John's? No. How do you get banned from Taco John's? What's the, what's uh, the uh, well, speed run? Uh, well, <laughs> you, you see, uh, you report that they're selling eight balls through the drive-thru, and then you complain on the internet about it. <laughs> no, you gotta jump up on the. You have to jump up on the counter, drop your drop your pants, and then just take a shit right on the register. Yeah, you well, gotta actually. You gotta fight Taco John himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wish I could fight Taco John. Have one last battle with him. <laughs> you have to summon him. You have to ring the bell, the beckoning bell. Bring the beckoning bill? How about you ring up? How about you beckon for some bitches? <laughs> All right, welcome to yeah. welcome to, to big fellas. Uh, I'm Saber. No, 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 that's not right. No, 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 that's uh, not right. That's not right. I'm episode thirty. I mean, no, wait, no, that's not it. I've covered wars, I'm, you know. I'm. Peach Pitzel from Twitter.com. I'm Baba Bowie from Baba Bowie, formerly known as Baba Bowie in the Baba Bowie community. <laughs> All right, welcome to episode thirty of Bitch Fellows. You know who it is, guys. I don't gotta say my name no more. I'm on us. I'm on. I'm back on the Sigma Male grind. It okay? Oh God, we're bringing this back. <laughs> It never left. I'm back on the grind, okay? <laughs> if it never left, then how are you back on the grind? If you if you said if you said you never left, then that means that you've always been on the grind. Yeah, exactly. I've always been on the grind. It's just you know, I just want to let people know that I'm still on the grind. So, all right, that's it. What do you mean that's it? What are you gonna do? You'll see. Just wait. Just wait until you see what happens in May. All right. What are you gonna call me up on school morning? Morning and be like, "Don't come to school today." I don't go to school. <laughs> well, but no, just no, just just make just just keep an eye out for what happens on May this year. All right. <laughs> you fucking what are you, Papa John's the Day of Reckoning? <laughs> Listen, he ta he warned us about the day of reckoning, and then what happened in twenty twenty? COVID. He was warning us. <laughs> I thought he you knew. were gonna say something else, like the fact that after he said the day of reckoning will come, stay tuned. Because of, of, after that, a lot of pizza places or like pizza chains uh, got outed for like a lot of the owners got outed for being like pedophiles or like. Doing illegal shit in the background. Well, I mean, you know, that. you know, there's there's that too, you know, but you know, William Afton be like, <laughs> Stay tuned. look, I'm right not, I'm not, I'm not telling, I'm not saying that there's anything about like a pizza Illuminati or anything, but you know, there was a don't you guys remember Pizza Gate? 
You guys remember when that guy, when the, when the lean monster killed all those children? Why is he purple? No, you don't understand. It is crucial that we make him purple throughout these games and then change his sprite color to orange in the final one. But why is why was he purple? Yeah. Okay. All right, that's good enough for me. So, what topics do we have for today? Uh, covering wars. You know. Or sneed running. Twin World's inventing a new uh, speedrun category for Dead Rising. Fastest uh, yeah. uh, time to the uh, I covered Wars, you know, cutscene. By any means necessary. Any any percent, right? Any means. As long as you get there. Fastest time. Setting it up. If it's not already a thing, claiming it as my own. <laughs> DMCA people who try to claim it as their own. Try to beat my record. <laughs> <laughs> His current record, guys, yeah. at the moment is like seven minutes something. He's gonna improve the time. It's just an experimental run. Oh god, the uh, DMC, the DMC, uh, DMCA, DMC. Don't make cry. The DMCA thing reminded me of uh, of something. You guys, are you guys familiar with like that guy with the glasses slash Channel Awesome? Yeah. Do you yeah. remember when they did those, like, anniversary movies? Mm, maybe. Tomorrow, do, you, do you know what I'm talking about, or am I having a sit-so moment? I said Sorry. I was familiar with the channel, not with its content. Like, I don't watch it, you Okay. Know. So back at, like, their, at their prime, when it wasn't just Nostalgia Critic and his two goons... Uh, that do a bunch of skits while reviewing a modern movie. They had like a whole network full of fucking like reviewers and shit, like Linkara, Cinema Snob, uh, Angry Joe. They had this. They had Disgruntled Joseph. <gasps> Blister Thumb slash Drew Attack also kind of like came from them too, but that's like regardless. Every fucking year for four years, they did like a yearly movie. Starting with like a twenty-minute short film where like the nostalgia critic uh, and the injury video game nerd fight each other in this like Chicago hotel ballroom uh, with a bunch of their other goons and like cronies. And I'm not talking about the VTuber. Oh. And it was like you know pretty epic for 2009. They had like these. <laughs> they they had like old ass cameras. You know movies. early er, early YouTube movies. It was a 20-minute early YouTube... I don't think it was even on YouTube, because I remember at this point, the only reason uh, like, that, that guy with the glasses or Channel Awesome was even made was because they kept getting, like, striked, uh, striked on their channel, on their channels. So they literally just said, fuck YouTube, and they posted everything to their own website. That's why. But that, yeah. that general, like, era of, you know, online content. Exactly. They would... It's literally just, like, twenty a 20-fucking-minute 20 thing of, like... All these game Before reviewers the dark fighting times. movie reviewers, and it was like the coolest thing ever. You know what would have been the coolest thing ever? What? Recording that onto a VHS, taking it to your local VHS rental store at the time, and just, you know, leaving it there as an option. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. Imagine you pick up what you think is like Die Hard 3 or something, and you pop it in the tape, and you just see some, some doofus with a bunch of. Other nerds fight each other in a fucking ballroom. In a hotel <laughs> ballroom. <laughs> no, man, it was epic. Honestly, it was a, it was a great time. And then the second year, they did this shit. Uh, they all flew. They all flew to fucking Nevada to take over a micro nation called Molossia and rename it to Kickassia. And that's like the most probably the most famous one that they ever did. Damn. What I'm trying to say is that. You guys are obviously not familiar with it, so I'm going to force you you guys to watch Kick-Assia uh, blind without having any content except knowing who Nostalgia Critic is. Is that going to be our next movie night? That'll be our next movie night. I'll fucking record it, too. It'll be recorded. Damn. And I'm wondering, 
will the nostalgia critic uh, strike my video or de or claim it for watching and reacting to Kickassia in its entirety? I mean, how many people, even even today on YouTube, how many people watch and react in quotations uh, to f content unedited and still get away with it? I mean, we got we got uh, we got claimed on our on our Halloween uh, special. It, it, it's a fucking it's fucking well, public domain movie. Yeah. Which is also, I don't know, well, man. Wait, is it because of the music library? Well, even then, the whole, that whole movie that, in its entirety is public domain to the point where, like, Romero, George Romero, like, used public domain music as well. That was, yeah. it was a literal, like, budget movie he made. But so yeah. then how did it, how the fuck is it claimed if it's public domain? I don't know, I mean, it's still up, it's just that whatever ad revenue I could have Keyword is could have. <laughs> Keyword is ad revenue. In quotation mark. They are enjoying that one cent that they made. And yeah, I don't know who like... is going to. <laughs> I mean, what revenue are they really going to get from claiming all my videos? <laughs> you think Dice Station Atari has gotten your your two cents from uh, Mirror of the World ear, ear Rape? Or any Guilty Gear Strive Ear Rape? I know, I know. Queen's getting their one cent from my another one bites the dust ear rape. You think Brian May? I th he's like the last surviving member of Queen, right? Brian May. Or is there another? Or, or all of them still surviving except for uh... Frederick? Except, 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 soul bad guy. I mean Frederick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Freddie Mercury, pretty bad guy. <laughs> Freddie. <laughs> You think you think Pretty M fast, Shadows yeah. or anyone else in uh or anyone else in Event Sumfold are enjoying your uh your two cents from uh Jack Baker dubbed over um Welcome to the Family? I, I hope. Really hope so. <laughs> oh my god. Kid I was Ash watching uh, Oh, go ahead. Oh I'm I'm sorry, let me just say this real quick. Kid Asia came out eleven years ago. Damn. What the fuck? And it's an hour, it's a 90 minute movie about a bunch of internet critics and reviewers taking over a micronation in the middle of fucking Nevada. Damn, it's like Madness Combat. Oh, but hold on. They made a two, after the year after they made a two hour movie where they do a big ass D&D &D campaign and a bunch of subpar cosplay called Suburbian Knights with this stupid <laughs> convoluted plot about some black guy with a staff who's looking for a ring and these guys are just a bunch of dopes who are just looking for real gold even though it's a D&D &D map <laughs> I'll be honest I ain't watching a two hour movie of that yes we are okay, I, you know what I'm only going to force you guys to watch Kitassia I'm not going to force you guys to watch Suburban Knights or you know what, maybe I'll force you guys to watch the the first special where they uh, where they fight what's it called uh, nostalgia cr no, angry video game nerd I'll make maybe he's I'll make gonna, you guys watch that one that's only twenty minutes he's, he's gonna force us to watch the Snyder cut of all of them <laughs> the credit cut the, the Doug Walker the Walker cut the Walker cut <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all the it's all the unraw like it's all the footage too that's just not even a part of the movie just at the end. Oh, I'll tell you something that's even more ridiculous. The fourth movie, and the worst one among them all, is called To Boldly Flee. And guess how long this fucking thing is? Six hours. Four hours? Saber's close. Three and a Five half hours? hours long. Oh. <laughs> Kralos and I sat through three of them. The anniversary brawl, Kajassian Suburban Nights. We sat through them and we're just like, this is whatever. We watched To Baldy Flee and we could not get through it. We couldn't finish To Baldy Flee. It's that bad. Damn. Anyway, that's part. Anyway, To Baldy Flee killed, uh, killed the prospects of them ever collaborating in person ever again because at the same time, according to uh, the document, you know, when everybody left Channel Awesome and, and stabbed and pulled a, a Caesar on Doug Walker. 
They stab. They took a knife and stabbed him in the back. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, a lot of the documents of like the channel not so awesome document. A lot of them are just like, no. When we filmed those movies, Doug never gave us food or water. Bruh. I'm like, you know, first of all, this wasn't a professional set, okay? I imagine Doug Walker flew all you guys out and paid for your hotel rooms and just said, "We're a bunch of friends. Let's make a let's like make a home movie, I guess." Except for to boldly flee, that shit was an actual full blown production where fucking sets built for that shit. I can't, sex I can't even, built? Yeah, they sets built everything. <laughs> Doug Walker put a put, put a weird sex rape scene between two credits in that movie. Like that. He wrote that. He he wrote a scene where Lean Cara, you know, Mister uh, Power Rangers reviewers, trying to think how, trying to think to make them. I'm not sure you guys even know who Lean Cara is, but he sounds like this. He's the guy that he's the guy that runs with the camera really really goofily, and he's like always with. Yes. He like appears yes. and on. I've seen him. I've seen him. I just. Yes. He sounds like this with my blunderbuss, my magic pistol. I will murder all Doctor Who fans. Uh, it's a sex scene in a closet between him and uh, Lindsay Ellis, formerly known as Nostalgia Chick. Oh, her. What? Yeah. He actually really wrote that? He wrote that, and it took the protest of both of them on set to be like, Doug, can we not do this? This is weird, especially since we're not playing characters. We're playing... Ourselves. ourselves. <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't know. <laughs> to, to quote, to quote, what were they thinking? Exactly. Man. No, you don't but... understand. It's absolutely crucial that this happens in the, in the story. <laughs> he almost pulled that part on them. He almost pulled its absolutely crucial blank, you know? <laughs> Can you imagine if I made a Big Fellas movie and I, and I put a, a set scene between, like, uh... Peach and fucking like Tarumo in a closet. Uh, first of all, I think Peach would fucking murder me, and then she'd murder Tarumo. <laughs> she'd murder you for writing that scene, and then she'd r- murder Tarumo for being a native. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then she'll murder, m- and then she'll murder me so that I join for the rest measure. of my people in the genocide. <laughs> no, she'll then she'll murder you for good measure. <laughs> For good measure, and she's like, "I am the only big fella." Then she'll, she'll do a bit. Then she'll, she'll just do a murder us because she's racist. Yeah, we're all not the only person that's close enough to being white is Saber, and he's half white. Truman and I are fucked. <laughs> Believe it or not, straight to hell. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we'll, we'll I was be, gonna we'll say. Watching, I'll be watching Big Fellas from from down here. <laughs> She's gonna send you to Hasbin Hotel. Ah uh, no! Then I'm gonna get my <laughs> voice actor changed because he's not because my voice actor was an internet person, not union. Thanks, eight twenty four. Trying to think, who's the <laughs> my. I'm going to be voiced by Chris Pratt. <laughs> you're going to be you're going to be for, you're going to be voiced by by Rob, uh, what's his fucking name? Um Robbie Damon? What's his name? Uh, yeah, Robbie Damon. You're going to be vo- <laughs> voiced by Sketchy Akechi. <laughs> Sketchy Akechi. Spider-Man. Fa- Merlin and Fate. Uh that's it. You're being voiced by Steve Bloom. Oh, I'm not fuck, no, I, yeah, I'd rather do that, honestly. That's no, it. that's actually that's it. You're being voiced by Johnny Young Bosch. No, that's it. No, you're, you're, being, you're being voiced by Kevin Conroy. <laughs> I am Batman. That's I it. You're being Batman. voiced Vic Min- Mignana. <laughs> I will. Yes. <laughs> Let me be voiced by Vic Mignogna. <laughs> Here's a present for you. <laughs> Here's a present for you. Oh, he was also like Edward Elric, bro. 
<laughs> he was uh he was he was uh crow in Ruby. Oh, he voiced Rohan in part 4. Did, did he? He did. He voiced Rohan. <laughs> it was meant to be. I love Roly, <laughs> I love Rohan, Big Mignana voice <laughs> me in hell. <laughs> all right, uh, I'm trying to keep all right, right. Turma, who do you want right, to be Turma. voiced by? All right, Turma, you're being voiced by uh, Fred Tatashore. <laughs> You'll be voiced by Tara Strong. <laughs> <laughs> Tara Strong in her in her Timmy Turner voice. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's Tara Strong in her in her Farrah Tor voice. <laughs> Actually, I want to be voiced by Debbie Derryberry. <laughs> That's it. No, see, no, Turmo, no, you're being voiced by Erica Lundbeck. That's a Turmo. You're being voiced by Christina V. Oh, what the? Damn it. That's it. I'm being voiced by Frank Rotolo. <laughs> just so, just, just voiced by Frank West voice actor. <laughs> why wasn't he in, why wasn't he in Dead Rising 4 to remote uh they wanted to go for a more older Chuck or Chuck Frank so they got <laughs> Chuck got some what is he they got some name jabroni what is he what is he Sneed <laughs> Chuck Old Green Chuck. formerly Sneed Green <laughs> <laughs> Sneed Green formerly Chuck Green <laughs> Sneed fellas, formerly Chuck fellas. Uh, you know what? That's it, Turmo. You're being voiced by Nolan North. Oh, oh please. <laughs> yes. He must accept your fate. You're being voiced by Nolan North. No, you're being voiced by Troy Baker. No, no, you're being voiced by Matthew Mercer. Uh, Troy, when you can't afford Troy Baker, who do you get? Matt, Matt Mercer. No, no offense to Matt Mercer, but they literally can do the same fucking anime voice. I'm being they're voiced both, by they're... Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> <laughs> how much say, in they're, cameo, they're both... how much in cameos would we have to pay Gilbert Gottfried to to dub to room on a Big Fellas episode. <laughs> a lot. If we have to, like, have him do at least an... Well, let's see. Turo speaks, like, what? Maybe 50% of the time? So, that's at least, like, 30 minutes or so in Big Fellas. I mean, you know, uh, James Wolfe got Gilbert Godfrey to be an angry video game nerd in person. I just want his voice. <laughs> I was gonna say, back to, uh, to, to Mercer and, and Baker, like they both, they both voiced Kanji, and they both they both have done a a cowboy character. That sounds virtually um, alike. Yeah, especially especially uh, MK11's version of Aaron Black because he uh, Baker actually did more of his natural Texan accent in that one because in in, in uh, MKX he was just kind of more like, you know, kind of more more stone faced, just kind of. And you are, but in in eleven, he's more he's more like <clears throat> he's more like I'm your Huckleberry. What of it? Can I be you know voiced what? by Laura Bailey? Yeah, you know what? Can uh, I be voiced by Laura Bailey? That's okay. Saber, you can be voiced by Sean Schemmel. <laughs> Tav, you can be you can be voiced by Travis Willingham. Oh, that'd be pretty sick. Big Fell's animated, but, but we all but we hired professional voice actors to dub <laughs> over clips. <laughs> no, that's no, a Tev. You what? can be voiced by Orson Welles. He's dead. Exactly. <laughs> oh. Spe- uh, specifically, oh, that one. Um, <clears throat> specifically, that one. Uh, uh, the outtakes from that wine commercial. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about the uh, the show The Critic where they parody Orson Welles and they had a really good one. It's like Rosebud. Rosebud. Rosebud frozen peas. Chucked full of greenness and good penis. Oh, it doesn't sound right. I'm out of here. 
<laughs> he grabs a handful of peas. Oh, just one for the roll. One for the road. Oh, what Can I luck. be voiced by Frank Welker? <laughs> that man is 90-something like something years old and still voice acting. My God. Yeah, but as Fred and fucking Megatron. <clears throat> Orson Welles' last theatrical role ever was... Was fucking Unicron. Galvatron and oh, Transformers no. the movie. No, Unicron. Uh, Leonard Unicron. Nimoy voiced, uh, voiced Galvatron. And, and then, then when yeah. the... Uh, and then when season three of uh, Transformers of the cartoon came out, uh, Frank Wel- Welker came back, but did a slightly different version of his like, Megatron voice. A more insane one, because Galvatron was going crazy. Mm. <clears throat> but still... That's, that's it. That's it. This, this... episode... This episode's turning to me talking about Transformers lore. Let's go. No, no, no. God, who wrote something? Uh, That's I'm, I'm, I'm... I've covered wars, you know. That's it. That's your, your next line. No blink. <laughs> That's it. I'm being I'm being voiced by Peter Cullen. That's it. No, no, it's Saber. No, you're being voiced by. Uh... Oh, they're do some doodling real quick. <laughs> That's it. No, that's it, Tav. Let's all right. Let's figure out who our Japanese dub is gonna be. Oh, Japanese dub Seth MacFarlane. <laughs> God, the only person I ever want to be voiced by in Japanese, and he's fucking, and he passed away a, like last year. Man, um, I'm not good with names, so I'll just go with like. Who who they who they voiced? Uh, I would go with. Uh... It was Teiji Fujiwara, by the way. I, that's that would be like the only person I'd, be, I'd want to be voiced by. If not, then I'd, I'll stick with uh, Mamoru Miyano from uh, Gundam Double O fame. Mm. That's it. This this episode's going to turn to Tav telling us about Gundam lore. Where do where the hell do I even begin? You guys want to hear about Universal Century, Future Century, uh, New Century, Correct Century? Uh, I don't even know where the hell to begin with you guys. I don't, y'all want Universal <coughs> Century or what? That's like the basic, uh, the basic shit right there. All right, that's it, Terumo. Tell us about Dead Rising lore. I feel like it's basically, uh, yeah, covered wars. Yeah, you, co- you covered wars, right? <laughs> Alright, Queens, cattle, cattle production, didn't go so well, some Mexican city suffered, terrorists in a uh, fictional city in Colorado, bada bing bada boom, all these psychopaths get defeated by some American with a camera. <laughs> or what Japanese people think Americans look like. Strunch up face with big ass <laughs> nose. So big so, old, big old, broad football player shoulders. So, so is Dead Rising's like the first game story, just like some kind of message on our like meat consumption? Then, no, just the the director really liked Dawn of the Dead, and he think and he thought a a game based on that would be cool. That they had to clarify that this game's it's it's not <clears throat> based on Dawn of the Dead, right? They had to put a thing on the cover saying that. For copyright. Yeah, because that fucking movie's copyrighted all over the place. For real, though. Like, that... Yeah. That, that movie's <laughs> copyright is fucking all over the place with, like, fucking Italy and America. I hate it so much. Then we got Sneed Green in Dead Rising 2. <clears throat> Damn. Um... When are we gonna... Alright, when are we gonna film our adaptation of, uh... Night of the Living Dead. Uh, Tumo, is there a house we can trash over in South Dakota? If you want to breathe in asbestos, yeah. Hell, I... You, I'll you know what, old... I'll bring the detectives! I'll bring the asbestos! I'll bring everybody into my power! If you, if you want to have, like, whatever meth remnants are left, then yeah. No, you know what? You know what old Hollywood used to put people through back in the day? To make to make uh, movies that are still praised to this day, they didn't know better back then. <laughs> Listen, Listen. The Dor- you, can, you can get them on the Dorothy shit, okay? You can get them on that, but you cannot blame them completely 
for uh, the for Let Wicked um, Witch and the Tin yeah. Man. Yeah, because they just they did or they didn't realize that we fucked them up. They didn't realize copper paint would paint would do that. <laughs> they honestly, honestly didn't. They also, I mean, you can kind. of... It's like, it's like it's listen. Like, the only actor listen. that got away from that scot free was like the cowardly lion, right? Because his costume was just a lion suit. It was right? just heavy, yeah. It was just heavy, but the the scarecrow had his had a has, had his bestest. The Tin Man had copper paint. The Wicked Witch got fucking mutilated. Poor actress got dish, like and her uh, and her stunt double too. Yeah, they got destroyed. Dorothy's actress. Sorry, I can't remember the fucking names. Uh, she just pretty much got traumatized. It's like, listen, you don't... Listen, listen, you don't understand. Having our main main lead on uh, methamphetamines is crucial to the production of this movie. But gotta have her fucking... Barely knowing where she is half the time. Okay? It's crucial. Absolutely crucial. But yeah, it's... It's pretty bad. You know know who could tell us more about that? Uh, when he appears next time on the podcast? Hmm. Kralos. Wait, is he gonna be? Uh, or is he just gonna? Is he is he just gonna put like a put like an essay in the comments or or something like that? I, I've been this this is a, an idea I've been trying to workshop for a bit uh, regarding the idea of bringing him back. It's not like a bad thing to bring him back. Um, <clears throat> last I mean, look, if it's his podcast. If, we didn't get a chance to have him and Yuri talk about or Peaches. Sorry, sorry, to him about Peaches. Talk about uh, art school stories, and now that you know, Peaches is going to be graduating soon from art school uh, within these few next weeks, a uh, few couple weeks, and whatnot. I'd really want to do either it either be a bonus one point five episode or a full app where I just get those two to talk about uh, swap around art school stories while I just kind of sit there and mediate. That was, that was, I mean, that's been a plan. I mean, for all the times that it's just been the three of us, or all the times it's been, you know, Turomo and me as Mald and Mulder, I think it's definitely owed that, like, that, like, Peach gets her own episode to herself to kind of, you know, have whatever. Yeah, plus, no, no offense to you guys, uh, but the stories that he's going to tell, he's t- uh, Kraus has told on stream, but Peach has not heard this, so... We all know the stories, and I'm not going to spoil those stories, but we all know the, the stories he's told us about failed art experiments yeah. and, uh, and whatnot. Yeah. I mean, you know, whatever whatever his wishes, you know, are to kind of, you know, not really, you know, have, you know, that easy of contact, you know, that's fine. You know, it, I still I still try to tune into his streams whenever I can just to, just to talk film with him because, like, I don't know, it's just... It's just so intriguing to me to, to talk about film for some reason. Well, man studied it, so he's kind of like one of the best sources and whatnot to come to film. As, yeah. uh, as he said it best, if he if if his va- if his film of knowledge is his film of knowledge if his knowledge of film is so vast, even someone like me who spends a lot of time with him, uh, even I only have like I think what do you say ten percent of it. <laughs> You have ten percent of his power. Exactly, it's like All Might and fucking Deku. Except I'm Deku, he's All Might. <laughs> I gotta get back to watching that. I don't know why I'm slacking off. Slacking off or jacking off? You decide. You know what? Let me tell who, you guys a- who won? Who's next? You, you decide. decide. <laughs> oh, ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> What are you I thought gonna you were gonna say? Oh, I thought you were gonna say Obama for some no, yeah, reason. Yeah. That's the that's my favorite word. Obama versus Mitt Romney. <laughs> let me be clear. Uh, don't get it twisted. Uh, let, let me be clear. Uh, let me be clear. No, there, there is a there's a bomb underneath my desk, and it's about to go off. You mean the Chaos Emeralds? Because <laughs> if you mean the Chaos Emeralds, I happen to have one right here. Oh my God, he's that though. What about you, <laughs> Chaos Control. <laughs> How do you like that, Obama? I pissed on the moon, you idiot! Uh, 
Oh man, I was watching. I was watching Crony play Sonic Adventure two, and she just, and she was like, I, I could tell she was holding back on quoting the whole thing. So like, the only thing she was, she says like, I'm gonna pee on the moon. She's an, she's an idol saber. She can't say a lot of those things. Listen, I miss my wife tales. I miss. <laughs> <laughs> Can that just be a line if we do if we do an, if you do another uh, um another meal boy is just like out of nowhere you just go I miss my wife or like have some other character have some other character with you and they'll just be like I miss my wife Tab I miss my wife Tarumo <laughs> we'll do a meal boy this summer. in Rapid City no we'll do it oh. this summer. At Sec Anime 2022. Oh. Mule Boy. That's it. I'm going to talk to the Sec What's Anime t- people. Let's see if we can get a Big Fellas panel. <laughs> what are they going to eat? What's he going to eat? We don't know. For real. Okay, if I got... If I, if, I, <laughs> Is he... if I was able to get a Big Fellas panel, like for real, at Sec Anime, would you, would you guys be down? If I could, if I could fly out, maybe, yeah. I'll fucking, I'll like, like we'll figure out somebody to get both of you down. I would say we'll get Peaches down too, but Peaches is afraid of flying. He's also never left the country. She's also Canadian. She's also, she's also racist. racist. <laughs> <laughs> she's also a woman with skin. <laughs> Oh fuck! What was I gonna say? If if we bring her, then we have to bring down her uh, her, uh, her handler, Baba Bowie. <laughs> oh hi, Baba Bowie. Uh, that's two kids that got a Baba Bowie. <laughs> well, no, we've said his name before, and she and she she even said. Well, like when I was editing the last episode, I asked her. Because I couldn't remember. Oh. Uh, do we se- do we censor his name or not? And she said yes. Oh, okay. Well, all right. <clears throat> so yeah, that's why if you listen to the last episode, uh, when when we censored Baba Bowie, we're referring to Baba, Baba Bowie, who's also okay. who's also just going to be censored right there. So uh, yeah, yeah, EI has to figure out the context. I guess. <laughs> Odd continuity, but okay. You know yeah. what? You know what, Rumo? <laughs> Oh, hi, doggy. You're my favorite customer. Hi, doggy. You know what, Turmo? Go eat a fish filet. I would, but near nearest one's an hour away. No, that's it, Turmo. Go get a fish taco from Taco John's. Fish taco? I would, but it's like nine... The wind's blowing at 900 miles per hour. Yeah, same here, too. <laughs> It knocked it, it. fucking it fucking knocked the grill over. Not the grill. Yeah. All right. Uh, I gotta pee. Piss test. Tab's got an idle meeting. Let's go. I'm gonna pull a pro gamer move and let you and Turumo entertain the people as I sneed run the piss. I mean. It could also, the segment could just also be edited out, but, you know, whatever. We're starting Dead Rising over again. We're doing the speedrun, come on. <laughs> wow, <he's busy. laughs> Let's go, let's see how fast I can do this. Like, once he touches the ground, it gives a slight little boost forward. No, what please! Is going on here? <laughs> no. no, the speed run's ruined. The speed run's dead. I told you, uh, it's just a piss. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. He wanted to speed run that much. We're like, we're like, we don't know how long he, we we don't know how long we're gonna, he's gonna take his piss. All right, last time he had to go, <laughs> you know, bathroom. He was gone for a good while, so why not? Listen. Listen, I sneed run. I sneed run into the bathroom. Okay. You sneed run into the back rooms. Yeah, that's where you go to take a bathroom. 
Tavis need run bathroom narrow urethra any percent? <laughs> who, who said I narrow urethra? <laughs> now you listen here. Now you listen to me. Who said I have a narrow urethra? Uh, just just leave the narrow urethra part in, right? <laughs> you guys been recording still? Yeah. Yeah, we've been recording. You didn't tell okay. us to stop the recording. Okay, good. <laughs> Whatever you guys said or done, I'm going to include. <laughs> All we're all we're talk all we're talking about is just we gotta get to we gotta get to I covered wars you know before he gets back. <laughs> you fucking mutt. But Frank runs like a goblin, so he ain't that fast. <laughs> he's right. He's running. He's he's running like he's gotta he's gotta take a mad shit. And if he doesn't if he doesn't get there, it's gonna stay in his pants. Tab, if I was level fifty, it would have been over, right? We would have been to the cutscene. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know, okay, I get it. Tab takes a while to use the bathroom, he has an old man body, he has to piss every two hours, okay. I'm gonna steal your skin. Just, just you talking about using Peach Peach's body for a new vessel? When I don't say it like that. <laughs> That's it, Turbo. If you die, we're putting your soul into a fucking Jabba animatronic at Disneyland. <laughs> Can it be like the thing where I'm just you know? Get to have a woman on a chain? What? Can it be? Can it be like the movie The Thing? Without <laughs> um, getting in bodies? <laughs> no, no, no. That's a Turomo. You're not. You don't have. You don't have the privilege to be John Carpenter's The Thing. You're going to be the original one, The Thing from Outer Space. Or Jeez. was that was it was called? The original one where it's just like a really, it was like a really, just a really tall guy that they were like running away from. Not even a, yes, that, a mutant that wasn't thing. the, that was, yeah, that was, uh, John Carpenter's, no, John Carpenter's the new one, unless I'm John Co- stupid. Yeah, John Carpenter's. Uh, now, let me, let me look it up real quick, just before Krylos comments. Yeah. <clears throat> the thing, uh, 1950s. Yeah, think from what another I, world. Directed by. What if I steal Kralos's body? You have to deal with his wife. His wife is pretty powerful. What if I steal their pet's body and then uh, make my way, <laughs> gain their trust, and then steal his body? Did Kralos say he can move into his home as like his pet dog? <laughs> and if I sleep at the at foot of the bed like a dog? <laughs> you're like five four, 120 pounds, right? You're just you're like the size of a great day. Da- you're like the size of a of like a golden retriever. I think you'd be fine. You're okay. you're five four, sixty three, right? <laughs> Wait, aren't you actually five four? I don't oh, know. God. I don't know how tall I am. I haven't checked. I don't keep track of that. You know what? Uh... <laughs> On, on, on a quick side tangent, because you mentioned the theme from another world, at the t- at the time of this recording, April sixth, it is actually uh, today is the day it was released, April sixth. Oh damn! So it's its anniversary today, nineteen fifty one. Nah, damn. Old. What old a movie. coincidence! Let's remake that one, it's specifically that one, not John Carpenter's version, but that one where we have a tall guy just. Walking around the Arctic base and everyone's running from him. Can we just put Turmo on stilts and call it a day? Yeah. I mean, I didn't. I didn't say this is going to be high quality. Here's the thing: we're going to put Turmo uh, on stilts if he can handle being on stilts for prolonged periods of time. Uh, we will get a bunch of like actors from Craigslist who we won't give them the contacts. We'll just tell them it's like a bit of a of a documentary, like uh, social experience sort of thing. And then we'll have to remote terrorize him in his uh, on his stilts in his uh, in, in his three uh, D printed spring trap outfit. <laughs> How's that sound? Have, have you guys have you guys seen that photo of that business card that's like lung extensions? Can I just get those surgeries on everything? 
Lung extension, bone extension. Rib extension, right? Instead of getting Arden. rid of a few ribs, I need more. <laughs> no, oh, just wait. be like the... Wait, isn't like the... such an actual thing? <laughs> Apparently, I know. I know for like bones, there's like a thing where they like they break it in half, <clears throat> uh, space it apart with like with like metal rods and something like that, and then they they let it repair over time or whatever, or like filler or something. In the Baki Manda Sash series, you know the ridiculous fucking show Baki. It's about a kid who wants to beat up his dad, and his dad is like also the, and I quote unquote title the strongest creature on planet Earth. He's just a buff guy that can take out armies of people with no weapons except for his, himself. Okay, he isn't that just isn't that against. just isn't that just Tekken with extra steps? No, I th- I think Yujiro Hanma, uh, the strongest creature on the on planet Earth. He's not even called a human. The strongest human. He's called the strongest creature. All right, this La- beast cre- of a man. Yeah. Lucky goes creature. around terrorizing people, okay? Just because he can, and he's just a piece of shit. So he has an illegitimate son named Jack Hanma, who does limb extension surgeries going from 5'6 to 7'2. Jesus Christ. And there's l- lately been reaction videos from doctors being like, reacting to Jack Hanma limb extension surgery, and it's just, it just sums up to them being like, oh wow, that's crazy, look at him, he's buff. Yeah, but that's not real. That's not happening in real life. Uh, don't don't try it, guys. Yeah. Can just use Starfinger. <laughs> just, let me just use my zoom punch. I I showed my girl Starfinger. She was never the same again. You think you think Jotaro used Starfinger on his wife? <laughs> and that's why they divorced. You just don't. <laughs> You just don't ever use star finger on me anymore, Jotaro. <laughs> I should give her like a fucking American housewife voice. Yeah, does Jolene's does she have does Jolene's have American? Oh, 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 that's right, that's right. Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, technically, Jotaro Jotaro is also half American. Yeah, via British and don't. Italian. British. Don't jerk off. Don't jerk off with the stand the hand. Worst mistake of my life. Now why would now why would I say that? <laughs> Is that oh. what happened? Is that what happened to the pig penis? You use Zahando <laughs> It's gone. <laughs> Oi, Josuke! I used the hunter while jerking off! Now my dick is gone! You know, I wonder if uh, if the Italian guy in, in Morio can fix that. I wonder if he can... John Favreau? Yeah, I wonder if John Favreau can fix that. Wait, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> If Okiyasu jumps up with the hand and he makes his penis disappear. <laughs> would he would he ask Joe State to help him or would he ask the Italian guy to restore to help him? <laughs> and could Joe State bring back his penis? <laughs> well, I know I know Giorno could, because he just has to put something else in place of it. It'll just be really painful. <laughs> but, yo, because Joe State can restore things. A crazy diamond. Yeah. <laughs> and I know Jorno can create things with golden experience. But uh, the chef, uh, Tony, what's his name? Antonio? The, and yeah, Antonio, could he... Could he... Well, oh, it's... <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, nothing. I'm just kidding. That's just spit. Oh, okay. It's all over your monitor now. No, I, I sneeze to the site. I'm not an idiot. Oh. I'm not going to sneeze all over my monitor. I'm not going to sneeze all over my monitor. You're not going to feed all over your monitor? You're not, you're not going to... I'm going to formally chuck all over my monitor. <laughs> That sounds so stupid. I formerly chucked on my monitor. 
Tell that to the Sneed posters. <laughs> need for Sneed. Okay, can the cover of this episode just be a redraw? <laughs> of, of, uh, of those guys? Or like, of, or like, of like Homer on the, on the porch with those guys? Alright, well, do I get to be Homer, or, and you, you and Trumo be the two guys that Sneed's? Yeah. <laughs> okay, deal, yeah, that's the image. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna redraw that Claude life slug reaction, but make it Peach. <laughs> life Peach life Peach reaction. Live vampire reaction. <laughs> live live <art> racist school. <laughs> reaction. <laughs> live Canadian reaction. <laughs> I think that will be part of the Beat Fellows brand starting from now. Live, uh, live Canadian reaction. Our show is the lowest rated in Canada because only one person in Canada watches it. Yeah, but we're we're big in we're we're big in Nicaragua. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Damn! We're really popular with the Menendez cartel. Menendez. <laughs> Menendez. Woods, Woods, angrily calling out Menendez from Black Ops Two lives in my head rent free, and I will just think <laughs> about it sometimes without any like context. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> going back, going back to earlier when we were talking about the the the, the awkward the awkward sex scene that Doug Walker wrote. It's like no and. <clears throat> It's like Yuri's gonna kill the both of you, but then she's just gonna blast my knees off with a shotgun like Menendez. Oh. <laughs> it's like what we said in the race war episode. Uh, Yuri will have Yuri will have to die, and sadly, save her because you're half white. You know, half of you suffered, the other half didn't. So we're just gonna break your legs in, <laughs> as a as all, in all fairness, we'll just break your legs and call it a day. <laughs> Can I be Hudson in the situation? Get my throat slit? <laughs> After getting my wounded. kneecaps blown out? God. Now it really is wounded knee. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Top ten... Top ten sites to see in South Dakota. Go. Number ten. The Badlands. <laughs> Corn Palace. Number eight. Mount Rushmore. Number seven. Historical Deadwood. Number six. Sioux Falls. <laughs> Number five. Wounded Knee Massacre Site. <laughs> Number four. Red Cloud Church. <laughs> <laughs> Number three. <laughs> the Pine Ridge Dump. <laughs> number two the edge of white clay nebraska but not yet nebraska yet <laughs> the last thing you want to do is cross into nebraska and <laughs> don't before you reach number one don't forget to like and subscribe and number one big bats microwave <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so no Grand Gateway or Teddy's Sports Bar and Drill? No. <laughs> no Boss Pizza? No. Taco John's. <laughs> Wait, Taco John's is like a... Uh... Taco John's in Pioneer, South Dakota. <laughs> oh. <laughs> or Rapid City, South Dakota. <laughs> or Sioux Falls. Oh. South Dakota. All right, Saber, top ten things to see in Colorado. Oh, Number God. 10. Okay. Uh, Estes Park. Number nine. Uh, the, the Denver Broncos Stadium. Number eight. The Ski Resorts at Vail. 
Number seven. Ah. Uh, <laughs> the, dr- uh, the weed smokers <laughs> behind my house. <laughs> um. Uh. Cheyenne. The Cheyenne Mountain military base. Uh. Number number six. Fort Carson. Carson. Is that where Conley Carson has been staying at? At a military fort. <laughs> they had to protect them from the controversy. Don't worry. Don't worry, Mr. Don't worry, Mr. Carson, sir. You're, you're safe with the U.S. military. <laughs> he's, like, he's just like, but I just wanted to stream on Twitch. No, don't worry. It's a matter of national security. Let's go. <laughs> Number five. The vast nothing of Pueblo, Colorado. Oh, you're doxing me. <laughs> oh. All right, fine. That's it. That's it. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fucking the 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 fucking barren desert of Pueblo West. Yeah, yeah. I'm doxing myself. Come over. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do when you not come knocking on my compound, huh? Don't you live in the middle of nowhere anyway? Yeah, yeah. And- they're gonna get lost trying to look trying to look for me. And it's, it's Colorado compared to me saying Pine Ridge, South Dakota. This is a little town of like, you know. First of all, you show a new person shows up in Pine Ridge. Turumo, Turumo's like spider terrorist fucking terror sense goes off and he puts on his, t- his spring, his, his spring lot suit and starts hunting you down. Okay. <laughs> You, good luck trying to reach Saber's compound. You'll probably get me eaten by a bear. Or a or coyote. Or, or terrorized <laughs> by a Mumei. Or... <laughs> Mumei's protecting <laughs> the compound. <laughs> You'll freeze before you get there. You'll freeze. <laughs> You'll either freeze, die of die of uh, dehydration, get attacked by coyotes, or a rattlesnake. Oh, yeah. But <laughs> like Pueblo, Colorado is literally like the Australia of America. Walk onto a landmine. <laughs> end, end up at the at the nearby military base. Be shot on sight for walking near it. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good luck, guys. Also, if you somehow make it to you, make it to Sabers Tom Pounder within uh, a, a mile radius, he'll probably just shoot you on sight. Man. Listen, guys. There's not much to see in Colorado. The only reason you're going to ever come out here is because if if you just want to get your hands on weed, if you don't live in a state that it's not already legal in. I think that I live in California. Or if you're going to go go camping in the mountains or go go skiing, because that's where I where I used to live beforehand in the in the in the town of the chocolate. Uh, I always tell people that I'm going to going to Colorado for like for like summer or so, like for summer vacation or Christmas, and they're like, "Oh, are you going to go to go do skiing?" I'm like, "No, my family lives there. I was born there." No, there's ton <laughs> of brewer. There's ton of breweries, right? Got to try them all. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that too. Yeah, there's a bunch of breweries you can go get drunk, but. Whenever I come out here, my family, my family would be like, would always be like, "Yeah, a Pennsylvanian accent." I'm like, "How? What? What sounds Pennsylvanian about what I say?" East Coast. And and then and then and then, and then now I don't even I don't even know if my accents turn back to Colorado or not. It's, your your accent has a bit of the Midwest in it, so yeah, you you uh hmm. you have a little you got a hint of the Midwesterner accent in you. California. In, in ya? <laughs> fucking I don't know man I got the California ads in me I say like a lot I just don't I just don't do the uh, the, the valley surfer ads in but I do say like that's it Tav lives in California where I don't know California is just long strip of land yeah God, fuck it I live out in the boonies bro there ain't nothing to do here we get we, we get so bored out here uh we go over to the college town and that's where I terrorize women and flirt with them <laughs> and, it, and inhale microplastics. Yeah. Yeah. With and with uh, with chem with chemicals that are known to cause uh, cancer in only that state. Yeah. Me, me and my uh, and my goons. We we just like damn. There ain't nothing to do in this town. So we head over to the next town over, and we start playing Guilty Gear Strive on my laptop in the parking lot. 
<laughs> it's like and when I, when I worked at a when I worked at a a, a certain place as security, um, <clears throat> there's a there's an area where where they put up the sunglasses and a customer came up. And because, you know, because it's a, it's a legal warning you have to put saying that, you know, this contains chemicals that could cause cancer in, in California. They're like, uh, you know, is, you know, should I be worried about this? He was pointing to a pair of sunglasses that the label was put onto him. Like, uh, they just have to put that on. Like, if I wear this, will this give me cancer? <laughs> you were just like, perhaps. Per- <laughs> perhaps. <laughs> Do you want it to? <laughs> Do you want it to? <laughs> Death? It's all, you want it to? It's, it's yours, my friend. <laughs> as long as you have enough cancer cells. <laughs> Imagine buying glasses from the, the from the disclosed store from the undis- undisclosed store and getting cancer from it years later. And you just remember that security guard who told you about it. You're just like, <laughs> you just want revenge. <laughs> I get fucking. I get fucking tracked down by all the by the the Mexican customers that would come after me because I didn't know how to speak their language god my it was always it's always the case where I have to I have to call up like the one employee that I know can speak Spanish and I'm like hey um we need a translation over here and <laughs> I think there was one time that we had a Cuban person in and she said oh, like, that's yeah, even I think the worst. Cu- Cuban would be like oh Tonio hey uh how much is some how much are these the sunglasses toast? Yeah. <clears throat> people be like... <laughs> Cuban people be like, where's my coffee? Hey, Cuban uh, people be like, have hey, a run. Hey, hey. Uh, hey Hefe, where's my, where's my coffee? Uh, fuck Castro. I, I hate Castro. He sucks. If I say Castro right now, I kick his ass. <laughs> if I see Castro on the streets, I'm eating his ass. If I see a Castro in my, in my streets, I'm going to fuck his wife. <laughs> I'm smoking his cigars. If I see a Castro right now, I kiss him on the lips and steal his cigars. You know Castro's had 63 assassination attempts Pu- that we that we publicly know of. Yeah, imagine um, 63 assassination attempts. <laughs> you can't have killed the guy. And then what fucking killed him? Age. <laughs> I hate commies, but goddamn, he was fucking built different. He's S tier. <laughs> he's the he's the he's the character they're gonna bring back as an operator in Black Ops. My man's had sixty three different assassination attempts. And what gets to him? Not his, not lung cancer. Not one of the attempts. Not him being poisoned. But fucking (laughs) natural (laughs) causes. His body just decided, alright, I'm done. God damn. You you just gotta give that guy a round of applause for surviving that fucking long. Yeah. He's like, his body's like, no, I'm going to log out and then forgot his password. <laughs> <laughs> is, that what, is that what happens to people when they die? It's not even a spiritual thing? Their soul is just like, shit, I don't log back in. Oh, well. <laughs> I, just, I, I guess I'll just so, a new body if you put in reincarnation. It's like, these live servers are going to die in uh, like a few months anyway, so might as well not even log in anymore. <laughs> I always find it funny when people... Start freaking out when like they fucking watched like Cosmos or some shit, and uh, and, and like fucking Neil deGrasse Tyson comes on. And he's like, "Did you know uh, your ass will uh, you know the world will die in uh, two in like two million years?" Did you know life. that? Uh, did you know that uh, the, the oh, this bitch. black hole here is gonna uh, eat your ass? And like within the next uh, within the next two million years, a black hole will uh, eat you and. Uh, Nothing will ever survive. You will be spaghettified. You will be spaghettified. And, uh, you know, I, now I'm going to go tell that Harvard uh, a Harvard student that his life doesn't matter because uh, he's only a kid and I am a grown-ass man. And I'm smarter like that because I am uh, Neil Dress Tyson. And then people be like, I can't believe it. I'm so scared. The world's going to die in two million years. Bro, my brother in Christ, 
you are not going to be around in two million years. <laughs> Your bloodline's going to be extinguished in less than that. Less yeah. than a fraction of that. It's just so funny you're, that they get paranoid. It's just like your oh. fa- your fa- your family your family gene pool is go- gene pool is gonna be gonna be more diluted than our ocean before that happens. All right, it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be more distilled than like fucking making some mead. All those pro- all those problems with in- with with inbreeding that we have in two million years that probably won't even be a problem anymore. Listen. Before we end off, before we end the podcast, Moon Knight came out. Oh, but I don't get it? it. I don't get it. Moon Knight. This man can have a, a, a moon god, god, a moon god, talk to him and give him superpowers. But I got a moon princess talking to me in my head, and I get no powers. Okay, how is that fair? Why do I do, why do I get powers? You didn't give her a five hundred dollar super chat. Ah! I should have gave. I damn it! Only gave her ten dollars super chat. Fuck! I only gave her two hundred dollars super chat. <laughs> damn it! I only gave her. I only gave her four hundred ninety nine dollars super chat. Damn it! I only gave two hundred and fifty to the Reaper. Ah! I'm like half Batman, half Moon Knight. No powers, all mental, all mental illness. <laughs> I'm like I'm, <laughs> I'm half Spider Man, half Batman. I have no money and no powers. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm, I'm like half Turumo, half half Peach Pits, Peach Pitzel. I'm feeble and I'm racist. <laughs> I'm like <laughs> I'm like half I'm like half peach, half kisaragi. I'm racist. And gay. <laughs> no, that's just that's just both. that's just both. It's like I I'm racist and then just say nothing else. <laughs> I'm like half peach, pencil, half kisaragi. <laughs> I'm gay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess we can stop laying the gay jokes on Turumo. <laughs> we can say that, but then I guarantee you within the next, like, two hours or so, Turumo's gonna comment in our general chat in the Discord server and just say, just say, Where's Tav's Tabussy? <laughs> he, or he's gonna be he's just gonna be like shut the fuck up before I kiss you on the lips I started doing that threat to people <laughs> does it work? sometimes <laughs> he already did it <laughs> he already did it <laughs> alright and with that <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna sign off no more True. big fellas. No more big fella card. No That's more a nineteen dollar big fella card. That's a turmoil. Your final thoughts? Racism. <laughs>